good day, the state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Jalal Harutunyan, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia, election campaign, Vazgen Sislian, opening ceremony of the House Museum named after Noraj Sohomonyan, trial of Armenian soldiers kidnapped in Sumgayit begins, trying to eliminate the Armenian trace, Azerbaijan destroys Artsakh historical and cultural heritage, Armenian doctors whose discoveries save lives around the world every second. Jalal Harutunyan was born in the village of Badara in the Askeran region. His father, Anatoly, worked as a mathematics teacher and school teacher, and his mother, Svetlana, was a nurse. From 1981 to 1991, he attended the village high school. Immediately after graduating, he joined the Artsakh liberation struggle. Concurrently, he pursued studies at the biology faculty of Artsakh State University, graduating in 1995. In 1999, he entered the St. Petersburg Military Academy graduating with honors. He has been serving in the Defense Army since November 5, 1992. From 1992 to 2016, he held various positions in the armed forces, including Commander of the Defense Region, Deputy Commander of the Unit Chief of Staff and Unit Commander. On June 14, 2016, by decree of Bako Sahakyan, Harutunyan was appointed Commander of ENS Military Unit of Angar Defense Army. On December 14, 2018, by decree of the President of the Republic of Artsakh, he was appointed as the first deputy chief of staff of the armed forces. In 2020, by decree of Arayi Karutsunyan, Major General Harutsunyan was appointed Minister of Defense of the Republic of Artsakh and Commander of the Defense Army. He was relieved from his position as the first deputy commander of the Defense Army of the Republic of Artsakh, chief of staff. However, on October 27, 2020, he was removed from the position of Minister of Defense, Commander of the Defense Army, due an injury sustained in combat and criminal case has been filed against Harutunyan for the attempted murder, but no defendant has been identified. He was discharged from the hospital on December 4. In February 2021, by order of the Array Defense Minister Vagarshak Harutunyan, Jalal Harutunyan was appointed head of the military control service of the Minister of Defense of the Republic of Armenia. On September 2, 2022, Jalal Harutunyan was indicated in two counts under Article 550. Part 3 of the RA Criminal Code for a negligent attitude towards his official duties during the 44-day war of 2020. As a result, his mandate as head of the military control service of the RA Minister of Defense has been suspended. Wet is considered a source of life as it provides one of the most essential components for sustenance bread. Wet has always been a crucial and valuable resource for Armenia. It is noteworthy that Armenia is particularly renowned for its wild crop species, three of which are indigenous to the Armenian highlands. In 1992, the International Convention on Biological Diversity was adopted, recognizing the fundamental role of the in situ plant system in conserving plant genetic resources for the first time. The the Erebunia Reserve, covering an area of approximately 100 hectares, is small but serves as a focal point for preserving the gene pool of wild species, not only within Armenia but also worldwide. This reserve safeguards endemic mountain unique natural combinations, primarily composed of graces. The flora of the reserve is exceptionally rich and diverse, comprising around 300 species. It hosts three of the four known wild species in the world, with over 100 varieties. Notably, there is a remarkable diversity diversity both specific and interspecific among wild rye, barley, and backdoor. The Erebuni Nature Reserve was established in 1981, promoted by several factors related to the discovery of wild wheat in Armenia. The renowned botanist Vavilov expressed particular interest in Armenia's abundance of wild wheat. His objective was to feed the world with extinct species, particularly focusing on wild cultivated species. By obtaining this information and collecting samples of wild wheat, it became possible to create new species and revive old ones that had vanished from the earth using new technologies and selective processes. Vavilov's groundbreaking discovery, known as the Law of Homologous Series in Hereditary Variation, was held as the greatest breakthrough by genetics and breeding specialists of that time. He was the first to establish a world which was not merely a repository but a genetic storage facility where endemic plant species collected from various regions of the country were conserved, including distinguished wild species of death crops. According to Vavilov, these wild species are considered the ancestors of today's cultivated crops. 
Asala's mission was not only to obtain international recognition of the genocide committed against Armenians, but also to reclaim Western Armenia. Vazgen Sisleyan, the head of Operation One, often expresses this in his interviews. Vazgen Sisleyan was born on October 20, 1956, in Burj the suburb of Beirut, into a family of genocide against Armenian survivors. In 1986, he graduated from the Sorbonne University in Paris, specializing in linguistics. Vazgen Sisleyan is fluent in Armenian, English, French, Arabic and Turkish. During the Lebanese war, a young Sicilian defended Armenian neighborhoods with the self-defense team. A few months before the hostage taking at the Turkish consulate, Sicilian and his associates gained recognition in Beirut by sending a publication to the editors of the Armenian magazine. On September 24, 1981, at the age of 25, he led a group of fighters from Operation One within the Asal organization, including Hakob Julfayan, Gevor Guzelian, and Aram Basmanjan, in seizing the Turkish consulate in Paris. You can watch the video about Vazgen Sislian on our Western Armenia TV YouTube page. On July 1, the museum dedicated to the hero Norar Sohomonia was inaugurated in the village of Artabung, Vayot, Zor region, Republic of Armenia. The Western Armenian delegation, led by Prime Minister Seda Merikian, was present at the museum's opening ceremony. Following the opening speech, the ceremony commenced with the Western Armenian anthem and the raising of the flag. Susanna Vartanian, the mother of the hero who sacrificed his life in the defense of the homeland during the 44 day war, mentioned in her speech that Norai would have turned 23 on that day. He was posthumously awarded the Combat Service Medal. My son was not only a musician but also an artist. He excelled in both arts and created over 100 paintings. Now they are preserved in the museum alongside other mementos left by him. Over the years, I haven't kept any belongings of my other children, but I have always cherished Norar's things, including his pencils and erasers. I cannot explain why, but I have preserved them, and today everything is in his museum. His musical instruments are also on display. Norair was killed in playing several musical instruments, including the tar, the hall, and accordion. The Prime Minister of Western Armenia, Sed Amerikan, also addressed the opening ceremony and following her speech presented Norair Sohomonian's parents with the Certificate of Honorary Citizenship of Western Armenia. Armenian servicemen Harutun Havakimian and Karen Ghazarian, who were abducted from Shikahov positions, are reported to be appearing before the Sumgayet Serious Crimes Court today, according to Baku Media. Baku accuses the two servicemen of illegally crossing the state border and planning terrorist activities on their territory. The Baku side claims that a subversive infiltration attempt was made. The preparatory session of the court will take place today, with four Azerbaijani recognized as victims in the case, according to the Armenian side and preliminary data and armed group based in Baku crossed the Armenian border on May 26 and abducted the servicemen. Criminal proceedings have been initiated in connection with the illegal crossing of the Armenian state border and the abduction of the two servicemen. The government of Western Armenia has repeatedly condemned the genocidal policy of the Baku authorities, including forced displacement of civilians, kidnapping of residents and soldiers, which occur not only during wartime but also during peacetime. Such kidnappings should be be considered war crimes. Our government will initiate the appropriate process on this issue, similar to the case of the Shushi refugees. Immediately after the start of the war, the government in Baku carried out various actions to destroy Artsakh's historical and cultural heritage, attempting to erase traces of Armenians from their historic land and appropriate cultural values for themselves. Alpha Newsroom conducted a live interview with Lucina Garahanyan, former Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of Artsakh, who is now an advisor to the President of the Republic of Artsakh. She informed that Baku recently organized the 10th Caucasian Ahvang scientific conference, which was attended by specialists from nine countries around the world. Thus, there is an ongoing attempt in scientific and academic circles to reinforce the thesis they put forward that Artsakh historical and cultural heritage has Albanian roots, expressed Lucine Garahanya, noting that they have not succeeded in doing so yet. According to her, the Baku officials are pursuing a consistent policy of appropriating Armenian heritage for themselves. The Baku government is openly destroying the graves of freedom fighters 
fighters who died in the first Artsakh war, and they recently raised the graves in the village of Arakel in Hadrut. Azerbaijani perceive themselves as descendants of Ahvans and are working to desecrate our monasteries and churches, stated the former Artsakh minister, according to her in Titernavang, which dates back to the 9th century, and in the village church of Hadrutvang, which dates back to the 14th century, the enemy performed a ritual and desecrated them. Those Armenians who changed the world, that phrase rings loud and clear until you familiarize yourself with the biographies and discoveries of these amazing people. Thanks to the selfless work and the crazy ideas of these people born into Armenian immigrant families who were afraid of the genocide against Armenians abroad, lives have been saved every second in every corner of the world. Here is one of them, Varazdat Hovanes Kazanjian, born in March 1870-79 in Yerzenka, Western Armenia. Fleeing the Hamidian pogroms, he moved to USA in 1895. In 1902, he was admitted to Harvard Dental School. After graduating in 1905, he began working as an assistant in the orthopedic dentistry department of the same school. During his career, Kazanchan often crossed the boundaries of orthopedic dentistry and reconstructive plastic surgery. In gratitude, in 1919, King George V of England awarded him the Order of St. Mikhail and St. George returning to Boston in 1919, whereas that Kazanchan received the title of Professor of Military Military maxillofacial surgery of Harvard Dental School. In 1941, Varazdat Kazanjan became the first professor of plastic surgery at Harvard Medical School. His innovative approaches gave impetus to the development and improvement of plastic surgery. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs>